Now let's say I want to add a view of my project, a 3D view, but a perspective, not a like weirdo isometric view. So to do that, let's go to a floor plan. I'm just tabbing over. So any floor plan will work. So if you remember under view, any sort of like view you want to create, it would typically be under the view tab. That little house icon creates a 3D view, right? But if you use the drop down, it has a camera. So the camera is the only way really to get your um, Revit to display with a perspective. So if you click once and then you click and drag, or anywhere you move your mouse, that's the direction the camera will point. And notice here, I've got now a perspective view of this project. Yeah, I think it's a lot better than that. Mm-hmm. Weird. Isometric view. It is it definitely gets kind of weird on it. Mm-hmm. So now that we have this, we could create a view template or adjust the visibility. So what if I wanted to dress this up? So let's drop this on the sheet first. So let's go to my cover sheet. And then I want to put that on here. So if you look through here, that was a camera view, right? Mm -hmm. So if you keep closing these, let's just minimize all of these. So where does the camera view go? So it's a 3D view right so if you go 3d view 1 if you look up there it's that so then we could rename this one so that it's not just called 3d view 1 we can call this like cover perspective or something like that just so that it's there it has something different so now what I want to do is actually dress this up and make this look like interesting so that it's like a nice wow image on the cover. It doesn't have to be crazy. So the first thing we can do is it's a perspective, so there is no scale. Notice it's not getting letting me change. Um, you can change your detail level, and for the most part, you might not notice anything change. I'm going to leave it on medium. You can change the, the style. So we can go to shaded. We could go to consistent colors, um, realistic. If you want to try going crazy with ray trace, um, I'm going to leave it on hidden line for now. I'm going to just try and make this look good with this. So the next thing, like I hear yours, you put it on ray trace. <laughs> See, it sounds like you're going to take off into space. So I'm going to turn the shadows on so that I get something a little bit more interesting. So that's by clicking the little circle. So you get shadows on. And then I'm going to use the sun path. I don't want to actually turn it on, but if you click, you get sun settings. And then I can adjust these to help with like what it actually looks like here. So you can change like the azimuth angle. Let's try 100. And then apply. And you can see it changing. Maybe we want it like 50. Apply. And that's kind of changing like the angle. So like how high the sun is. And then you can try and change this, which will be the angle. So which direction is the sun going? And you can keep changing that till you get something that you're happy with. Now Linda's blasting off into space. Huh? So now you're blasting off into space with a computer. Like, mm -hmm. So 90, is that going to be enough? I kind of like the last one, so let's try 75. Or you could turn on the sun path and like drag it around until you get something you like. So let's say I like that, but I want like my shadows to read differently, or I want to see more settings. So we can now go into the other options. So we went into the visibility graphics. Now let's go into the graphic display option. So this is a different menu, which lives right under the other one. And if you look, there's some of the same kind of settings where if you want to cast shadows or not, if you apply, that turns them on and off. Notice how it affects like what you see. Um, sketchy lines, if you want to enable sketchy lines. I'm not sure that is so sometimes it can look cool. Sometimes you can get kind of weird yeah. stuff. So extensions, if you want to extend. 
So maybe we play with it like that or something, I don't know. And then depth cueing, you can mess with that if you want, but lighting is the one I'm looking for. Because here I can make the shadows more intense, so you get like black almost, or you can make them a lot lighter. So that it's not so dark. And you can get something kind of like that. So if you're happy with that, then you can say OK. And then if you wanted to add a background, you can do that. Um, with just the different settings. Background, you can have none, or you can put like a sky. Sometimes they get kind of cheesy like that. Um, a gradient. And you can change those to kind of like a SketchUp model, um, or you can say no sky. So for now, I'm going to leave it like that, just simple and clean. And then I want to go to my cover sheet, or did I already drop it on there? I don't remember. Cover sheet. And then here, I want to drag that on here. So now I've got it on there, but I don't want it to say cover perspective. So how do you get rid of that? 